As you can guess, the process of the excitation is very really straightforward. So what you can do is basically you want to select uh, part of the um, <coughs> the coils and uh, create uh, terminals so that you can actually uh, run the, the excitations on. So uh, first of all, you just click the coils, and I'm selecting all the coils, and then go to the um, sorry. Uh, go to the uh, go to the row and uh, sorry go to the modeler and then go to the surface and then to the section and uh, make sure that you're selecting the section that is uh, let me just make sure that I'm not giving you wrong information as always uh, yeah just go with XY and uh, press OK so now you have on each core a coil two sets of I mean two um, uh, basically uh, what do you call it planes so what we want to do is you want to separate them and you want to have only one of those so um, some of these pairs are not actually Uh, so first you can basically go and change the names um, selection one you can call it terminal or term and uh, coil two um, terminal or term coil three Term. and then uh, coil 4 same thing term. so now uh, the only thing you want to do is you want to select them all and go to the modeler and then to the boolean and then you want to say separate bodies and uh, yeah basically delete them just press delete there we go you got rid of them very easily so now you have this, 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 and this. Now you select all of them again as, as well and then right click on them and say assign excitation and go with the current. Um, just put the value that you want. I can put 200 and uh, you know it is an stranded um, coil. You can, you can say if it is stranded or not but basically typical case it, it is so just uh, press the standard and then uh, for the direction of the um, the basically the so you can see the direction is in positive direction toward the Z so I'm just putting it to positive for all of them and then press OK so if you basically go under the excitations and select them and you can uh, you can basically rotate this and you can see that it's going up in the x direction i can select all of them and you can see all of them at once okay and uh, now that we've done that we have nothing else to do except uh, basically creating the region that we want to uh, run the simulation in and that would be the vacuum and uh, you basically click on this box here and you basically put the value for the path in all directions similarly to 100 and that would give us enough rooms for the simulations just press ok and there we go you have your uh, base region that you want to do the simulations in and let me uh, give you a better view of what we have and you should basically have something like this in order to have the same results. So that uh, would conclude the excitation and uh, the boundary and the regions that we want to uh, create. I just want to show you, uh, well, there is no analysis set up yet defined. Uh, just right click on the analysis and just add analysis, simple like that. Um, and that would basically uh, satisfy all the checkpoints before <coughs> running the analysis so you can see everything is green okay hopefully you will see the same screen uh, and you can follow me in the next 
uh, video that is going to be all about the interpretation and analysis of the full uh, model.